Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here is my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look, each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world. My core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am a minister and author and addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show, or you can just Google my name. God is always on time, isn't he? I mean, for us of us that believe in that, it is so true. The vision will still happen at the appointed time. It hurries towards its goal. It won't be a lie. It, if it's delayed, wait for it. It will certainly happen. It won't be late. In Hakuk 2.3, God is never in a hurry and he's never late. He's always on time. He always will be there as you wait. God's timing is perfect even when we can't understand it. We'll never really understand it because God exists on a different wavelength than you and I do. He has a different view of time because he is timeless. The Bible talks about God's understanding of time in 2 Peter 3, 8, and it says the following, quote, unquote, Do not forget this one, dear friends, with the Lord's, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day, unquote. Does that sound like the way uh, you treat time? It might feel like a thousand years when, when you're waiting for a meal sometimes, but we humans uh, don't think in those terms. God's timelessness has big implications for your life. When God created you, he put a dream in your heart. Most people start off with a big uh, vision and a big goal. They have uh, some kind of dream or plan uh, or project uh, for their life in store for them. So what vision does God, uh, has he given you? Over the years, I've discovered that while everybody tends to start off life uh, uh, early uh, with maybe a vision here or there, as time goes on, more and more people give up and and uh, on their dream before it's accomplished because it doesn't happen fast enough. It's almost like I used to, I like to word instant gratification. So maybe you've had your dream battered. Maybe you've had your dream broken or maybe out of discouragement, uh, and disappointment, you have buried your dream totally. You've given up on it. God doesn't want you to do that. If God gave you a dream for your life, it will happen. It just has to happen on his timetable, not your timetable. God says this about your dream. The vision will still happen at the appointed time. It hurries toward its goal. It won't be a lie. If it's delayed, wait for it, and it will certainly happen. It won't be late. So when I started my ministry uh, and podcast nearly eight years ago, when I was around 51 or so, I was in a hurry to get everything done fast. But as time went on, I learned to take my time and let God kind of let the pieces fall into place. Because God said to me the same thing he will say to you with your dream. No, it's not all going to happen right now, but slowly, steadily, the vision will be fulfilled. Consistency is the key. I want you to remember a powerful truth this year of 2021. This powerful truth is that God is never early in your life. He is never late in your life. God is always right on time in your life. So um, 
when you listen to this or if you're watching me on YouTube, play it for someone else or let them watch it. Maybe talk it over and just know that God will never, ever not help you with your dream. So why would God want your dream to happen on the timetable, not yours? Have you ever given up on dream because it was delayed? Do you believe that your dream is from God? Well, these are all questions that you as a group can discuss and answer. Why is it so st difficult to stay disciplined when it comes to your dreams and goals? Pray to God and he will uh, provide you with all those answers. You need to start giving hope, prayer, and encouragement. Mm -hmm. And never forget that God loves you. Give me a call at 844-405-HELP because you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. And always remember that God will never let you down as long as you keep mm -hmm. asking him for guidance, as long as you keep asking him for direction. Because God is there with you. Wherever you're watching me, uh, whether it's on YouTube, uh, Venmo, or uh, any video, wherever you're listening to me on any one of the podcasts that you'll find me, just know that God is watching, God is listening, God is going to get things done on his timetable, not on yours. And that is so important to remember because he will work everything out in your favor. So if you're uh, ready for God to move powerfully in your life, then let go of the fear and trust and then start trusting in him for everything. Find out how by calling me at 844-405-HELP. And uh, we'll explore how faith is the key to miracles, as well as what it takes to experience God's blessing, spiritual maturity, and answered prayers. Because these are all things that are possible, but you need to start believing in that. Again, call me at 844-405-HELP. You and I, we can help each other. We can definitely help each other take our lives back. We can also help other people by giving them some compassion and empathy and a simple smile to make their day and their life can change and maybe even yours. And remember that God truly loves you because he gave us his son to help you and help me live a better life. In God's name, we pray all this. Amen. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow and take good care.